I'm Terry Edmonds and I'm here and I just want to show you some long range casting tips if I could. Right, the first thing that we've got to get right is the stance and the stance is left foot forward and like your right foot back if you're a right handed caster. What that allows you to do is move from the back foot to the front foot in the cast really easily. And then the next step is to get your right hand, again if you're right handed caster, as high up into the sky as you can get it. What this does is allow the left hand to pull round a fixed point. So you're pulling round that fulcrum point like that. A big mistake that people do is if they're right handed caster and left handed casters, they punch. It's a punch like that where it's not, we're looking for a pull. So it's, you're set up like that and you pull through with your left hand coming down to your left rib area. During the cast, we want to be casting at about 45 degrees into the sky. So we have to look at 45 degrees. <clears throat> right arm up high, right onto the back foot, then through the cast, we rock forward onto the front foot first, then we cast. Right, what I'm going to do now, I've got a little spawn here that I'm going to cast out there. There's not much weight in it, so it won't go miles, but I can still show you the technique. What I do is, I have the spawn down to nearly the spigot. <laughs> My right hand is high up in the air, weights on the back foot, and then through the cast, I'm going to rock onto the front foot, and then I'm going to cast it. And that's it, I cast.